<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Today, we got a pretty cool new firearm. Heritage Rough Rider 22LR slash 22 Magnum. Let's take a closer look at it. Welcome back, everybody. We got a pretty cool video for you here today, one that I've been uh, looking forward to doing for quite a long time now, and with a gun that I've had on my radar for a pretty long time, the Heritage Rough Rider. This one is the uh, 22LR slash 22 Magnum, a four and three quarter inch barrel. A uh, really nice little gun surprisingly well built I have to say uh, these things come in right around 200 bucks the ones with the uh, four and three quarter inch barrel and to tell you the truth they're made really really well surprisingly they feel a lot like a Colt it's not a true Colt design but it's pretty close go over you with you a few features about the handgun um, three position hammer very Colt feel feels really nice uh, standard single action design you have your door here Cock it back twice. That's how you eject the rounds. Take them out. It's got your little rod right there. Comes out. One little interesting thing about this handgun that not many other single actions have is that it has a safety. They put it on there. You can see right there. Flips up and down. And what that safety does is it puts a block between the hammer and the cylinder. So if you have a full cylinder of ammunition and you try to... Uh, fire it with the safety on it actually physically blocks the firing pin you can see there the firing pin is not on the hammer but when you flip that safety I'll flip it around where you guys can see it that hammer will move down when I flip that safety you can see that that's that block moving when it goes up that's that block right in front of the firing pin so it can never actually fire that's pretty cool uh, these guns they're gaining popularity. A lot of people seem to like them and have good experiences with them. I've put a couple hundred rounds through this one so far and got a good feel for it. Um, but uh, we're basically going to do a few, little bit of testing today. Do a little bit of a cowboy kind of stuff and uh, do a little bit of shooting. Uh, when the, you get the gun, it comes in a really nice box. It has an extra cylinder. That's one thing I wanted to mention. If you want to fire 22 Magnum out of it, it has a spare cylinder that shoots the 22 Magnum. You cannot switch them. You can't shoot 22 LR out of the 22 Magnum cylinder and you can't shoot this cylinder you have to switch them and it's a really easy operation really easy I'll show you guys that here in a moment a uh, really cool little gun but uh, that's enough talking about it let's get to shooting all right so now we're gonna move on to shooting I'll show you guys how to load the handgun really quick just like any other single action pistol you open up your breech put it on two cocks back right now the safety's on you just rotate your cylinder and pop them in there in that little doorway okay so I got six here and that's one cool thing about this gun because it has that firing pin block you can actually put six in and put the safety on and a lot of old single action handguns you couldn't do that they'd have to only be able to put five in in case you know the hammer got struck or something like that happened blow off your foot or something but luckily with this gun you can safely put six in and that's pretty cool uh, one thing I wanted to note, it might be a 22 LR, but because it has that open cylinder gap and it's a pistol, it is loud. So you definitely need some earplugs. All right, let's cock, safety off. Here we go. We got, uh, since it's New Year's Day today, we had a little bit of leftover from uh, partying, uh, a little bit of booze over there. I thought it'd be kind of appropriate being the cowboy style, you know, saloon shootout. So let's give this a shot. See how she shoots. We're shooting some Winchester. Uh, hollow points, these are subsonics to maybe reduce a little bit of the noise. Here we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so as you can see, it shoots pretty well. We're only about, you know, 20 foot back. But uh, the gun does pretty well. <laughs> Alright, and I'll show you the unloading process. Two clicks back, open your little door, and you have this little rod right here you can knock the shells out with. Just like that. Ready to go again, safety is on, and uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Shoot a, a few more things with it, and then I think we'll move on to the 22 Magnum and see how that does. Alright, so let's talk about accuracy for a minute. 
The handgun, as far as sights are concerned, is pretty bare bone. You basically just have a little notch back here and a blade front sight. I've noticed it's a little bit hard to pick up on if it's low light or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's holding true to the cowboy style. i got to respect that. Uh, but nothing fancy there. It's just bare black leaf, non-adjustable. And that was one problem I ran into when I first got a hold of it. Uh, it was shooting really, really far to the right. And I actually bent over that front sight and got it pretty well on target. But uh, I'm going to shoot it a little bit, show you some practical accuracy on just our steel over here. I'm going to shoot six rounds at our plates. And then I'll load up a cylinder and fire them at our big plate over there and see how tight of a group I can get. So let's get started. Here we go. Off. Here we go. You know, it's fairly decent. Really not too bad. Alright, so now we're going to group the handgun offhand. I'm going to see how tight of a group I can get on that plate. We're about 10 yards back, so let's give this a shot. We're just going to use some CCI standard velocity. See how good of a group we can get. Not terrible, really. Let's get a closer look. All right, so as you can see, pretty good group here. You can see, uh, you know, about six inches group. You know, not too bad, really not too bad. Uh, so you know, it's not Glock accuracy or 1911 accuracy or something crazy like that. But you know, single action pistol, 22 LR, I'll take that. Not too bad, definitely a minute of man at 30 feet. So uh, let's move on to something a little bit more interesting. Uh, maybe we'll uh, show some self-defense application that this thing could hold. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the self-defense application of this handgun. Um, some people are actually carrying these. Some people actually buy them for home defense in their house. And uh, some people like the 22 LR and some people like the 22 Magnum. If I were to personally carry this, I'd want to go with the 22 Magnum. But we're going to do a little comparison here. I got a frozen 2 liter uh, of soda right there. I'm going to shoot a 22 LR Winchester hollow point subsonic at the top of it and then we'll move on to the 22 Magnum and shoot the bottom half and see what the power difference here and see if this thing would be good to carry. Let's go for it. All right, here we go. Safety off. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at how that did and then I'll show you how to switch out the cylinder and shoot the 22 Magnum. All right, guys, so we got a good solid impact on the top of the two liter right there. Went in, did not exit. I think we got our bullet right here sitting in there. Dig that out here in a moment. Let's move on to the 22 Magnum and see the power difference there. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to switch the 22 Magnum. First, you want to make sure your safety's on. Make sure it's on. Flip your trap door open. And then there's this little button here that you push. Let's see if I can do this facing the camera like this. Push that button down, grab this right here, and that rod should come out. And that rod comes out, and you can just pop your old cylinder out. See that? And those teeth are what actually catch in there. Alright, so that's the 22LR cylinder. Now grab the 22 Magnum cylinder. Here we go. 22 Magnum cylinder, and these cylinders are marked. They have 22 Magnum and 22 LR on them, so you don't get them mixed up. All right, so you just open back up your door, slide that big guy right back in there. All right, until it catches, then get your rod, stick it back down in there, push your button so it'll go through, and then you should be ready to go. Let's load a 22 Magnum in it. We've got some VMAX rounds, 22 Magnum coming out of there pretty quick. Let's see if this thing would damage somebody if you were to uh, want to use this for home defense or whatever other purpose you might find for it. All right, ready to go. Here we go, we're gonna shoot the bottom half, that frozen two liter. Let's do it guys. Here we go. 
This one's gonna be a bit louder, I imagine. You get. <laughs> yeah, when you put those 22 magnums in it, it definitely wants to rise up with you a little bit. <laughs> Let's check the power difference there and see if that thing expanded like it was supposed to. All right, so you can see right off, 22 magnums hole is a lot bigger than a 22 LR hole. Let's dig those out and see what we did. All right, so as you guys can see, those things retained the rate pretty well. Went into the block pretty far. Definitely wouldn't want to get hit with that Magnum for sure. That thing did a lot. So uh, let's see what else that 22 Magnum would be good for. How about a zombie? We got our frozen zombie head down there. Let's see how this does. <laughs> Definitely did a number on him. <laughs> All right, guys, so the Heritage Arms Rough Rider 22LR slash 22 Magnum. Is it junk? No, they're actually pretty cool. Um, the gun, well, all, I can have to, all I have to say is it has a really good feel to it, really nice, and, you know, it's heavy, and it's built really well. It feels like quality. When you pull that hammer back and feel those clicks, it just feels like a quality gun. I mean, it feels just like a Colt. Thing's really nice. I highly recommend it. If you guys are looking for a good 22 LR, stuff that isn't $500. These are pretty good. You know, the accuracy might not be the best in the world. You know, you aren't going to be plinking out to 150 yards with this thing. But uh, hunting, maybe uh, some people defense with that 22 Magnum. You know, that 22 Magnum that opens up a whole new world of possibilities. But uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, you can. Uh, like down below leave a comment tell me what you guys think about this gun and if you guys have any experiences with it I want to hear chime in uh, But anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, keep those subs coming. We'll talk to you guys soon